Oh, wow, guys. All right. It is October 23rd, 2018. Well, I knew, I knew seven years ago that if we didn't collectively, the, the we, the collective we, if we didn't stop accepting all of the lies that we were hearing throughout our entire lives, but they've just become so absurdly obvious. If we couldn't stop accepting all of these lies and began to hold accountable those who lie, that the lies would just become more and more and more outrageous. And we're living that now. This is 1984. We are living. We are living we are living double think. It's like double think. Holding two opposite, individually exclusive ideas or opinions and believing both are true, both are real. It's like logic against logic. War is peace. Ignorance is strength. Freedom is slavery. And two plus two equals five. That was 40. You can see that the numbers on this dial run up to 100. Will you please remember that during our conversation, I have it in my power to inflict pain on you at any time. And in whatever degree I choose. You know perfectly well what is the matter with you, Winston. You've known it for years, though you've fought against the knowledge. You are mentally deranged. You suffer from a defective memory. You've never tried to cure yourself of it because you did not choose to. It was a small effort of will which you were not ready to make. Only the disciplined mind can see reality, Winston. It needs an act of self-destruction, an effort of the will. Do you remember writing in your diary, freedom is the freedom to say two plus two equals four? Yes. How many fingers am I holding up, Winston? Four. And if the party says there are not four, but five, and how many? Five. Don't you feel like you're being tortured by those around you who refuse to see reality for what it is? Why do you think I named my first and second channel Kafka Winston World? Winston. That's Winston being tortured in 1984. We are living that now. Listen to this. Where in George Orwell's novel 1984 is a change of external enemies discussed, one of the most striking moments in George Orwell's novel 1984 occurs in part two, chapter nine, when the leaders of Oceania suddenly announce that Oceania is no longer at war with Eurasia, but instead with East Asia. You know, I, I, I very often think about that part in 1984 when reading it. And I'm, I'm more visual. So when I read things, I can imagine them in my head. 1984, there's a section of the book where the people of Oceania are out for a week rallying and chanting and screaming that Oceania wins against Eurasia. They are chanting and rallying that we've got to be victorious against Eurasia. And then 
there's an announcement made as if the war was always against East Asia, not Eurasia. And there's silence for a moment. And then the crowd starts to just rally for victory against East Asia. Like nobody even decided to take a step back and say, okay, we were, I thought, fighting against Eurasia, but now you're telling me we're fighting against East Asia. All right, well, you said it, so I will accept it. Eurasia, formerly a reviled enemy, is now an ally. East Asia, formerly an ally, is now a reviled enemy. Ironically, news of these new relationships comes at the very climax of the rally, a, nearly a week long, designed to arouse public hatred of Eurasia just when the general hatred of Eurasia had boiled up into such delirium that if the crowd could have got their hands on the 2,000 Eurasian war criminals who were to be publicly hanged on the last day of the proceedings, they would have unquestionably have torn them to pieces. At just this moment, it had been announced that Oceania was no not at war with Eurasia, but East Asia. Eurasia was an ally, suddenly. And everybody just accepts it. That's what I feel we are living. The point of describing this change as so sudden and yet so routine is that Orwell depicts war itself as the ongoing focus of the leaders of Oceania and the two other states. It almost doesn't matter which entity is the enemy. What matters most is that war of some sort waged against someone continued so, continued so that the population can be controlled by propaganda and given work to do to support the war effort and sustain the economy And in 1984, Winston is reading a book out loud, and he reads, it doesn't matter if the war is real. It doesn't matter if the war is real. Whatever the people are told, they just accept without question. Weapons of war. Weather. Weather. They're using weather as a weapon of war. And we are getting these announcements from mainstream media as if we have to accept 2 plus 2 equals 5. It is so blatant now, it is so obvious now, that we are living 1984. It's not coming. We're living it. How Hurricane Willow could bring an array of misery across the United States? Willow, off the coast of Mexico, is going to bring an array of misery across the United States now. See, hurricanes, they, they don't weaken once they hit land. They're weakening now before hitting land. Now it's a Category 3. It was a Category 4. I don't know, did I miss anything where it was a Category 5? But it is a Category 3 now. And somehow this hurricane is going to be traveling across the United States and people aren't questioning what they are hearing from mainstream media. Listen to this. We already know Mexico will take a brutal hit from Hurricane Willa, but in the United States the same monstrous storm. We're hearing monstrous again. Another monstrous storm. 
which could spawn widespread misery, including flooding, and even this year's first nor'easter. nor'easter. <laughs> I, I'm actually a nor'easterner from New York, so when I get tired, every now and then you hear my ER as an A. Um, okay, this is the first that I'm hearing a hurricane is spawning a nor'easter. But we're having a lot of firsts now. Um, Hurricane Florence weakened before it hit land, then sat there, then traveled down to South Carolina from North Carolina, and then went through South Carolina, North Carolina, Kentucky, hit Kentucky, uh, Tennessee, West Virginia, Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York, then out into the Atlantic, and somehow refueled. And they were claiming that Hurricane Florence was coming back to North Carolina. And people just accept this. Hurricane Willa is going to be going through Mexico. Brutally hitting Mexico. Going through a desert. Then hitting Texas and traveling across the United States. Do I have to say, are you kidding me? Do I have to say that? What are we living now? We, we are living something so uh, incomprehensibly, shockingly absurd. And how many of you feel like Winston in real life, trying to get through to people? That what they are hearing from mainstream media is an abject lie. But people rally up. They sure do rally. The sandbags. The, uh, the plywood on windows and evacuations which are taking place. Um, there's all right there is no hurricane. There's no hurricane here. Now you see on satellite the image of a hurricane with the eye but if you watch the satellite you will see that it's filled with frequencies right here, periphery. Now, whatever this is, it is, of course, being manufactured by man. You can see all of the frequencies, the chemtrailing at the periphery. Um, but wind speeds, three miles per hour. Juan Carrasco, Carrasco um, three miles per hour, you would think. Three miles per hour here at El Walamo. Three miles per hour. The hurricane is already right smack in these areas. Three miles per hour. What's going on? What's going on here? Aqua Verde, three miles per hour. On radar, you have nothing. There is nothing here on radar. Nothing. There is no hurricane here. This is what we're living? No hurricane. Wind speeds, well, let's check another one. Uh, windy, 32 knots, which is, oh, I don't know, maybe 37 miles per hour. 30 knots. I 
can't seem to get any other wind speeds. Um, there's no hurricane. Why, why can't I get the knots, the wind? Okay, let's go to Vent to Sky. Um, you know, I've been getting comments from you guys saying that your computer's uh, devices are not working very well, and neither is mine. Oh, we have 56, 53, 48, 49, 35, 33, 36. Okay, we, we have maybe a tropical storm, but we do not have a hurricane. We do not have a hurricane here. And, well, I guess in this area, you got some rain. Um, okay, well, I don't, I can't get to um, radar on Ventu Sky. You do know the wind classifications of a hurricane. Category 1 is 74 to 95, uh, 95 miles per hour. So there's, once again, we're looking at everything manufactured. The narrative, the satellite images, the destruction, unfortunately, uh, may very well be pretty intense. I think everybody should know that hurricanes, once they hit land, they weaken, but they don't travel across land and bring across the United States uh, flooding and a nor'easter which is well now we're seeing this hurricane even go through more states than Florence did we're, we're getting this now more regularly and more frequently this idea that we have these hurricanes and many are shown that they're not hurricanes all right I don't know how to I don't know how I, I don't know how to address the world we're living in look at this storm here and look at what's happening you can see the frequency signatures now well, this a line of precipitation so neatly defined and that is not how mother nature works and it's pretty much sustained wow okay well what do we have we've got these frequencies still happening that have been ongoing now what five days 24 7 which I believe are extremely low frequencies. Some are claiming that this is 5G. It is not 5G. 5G, millimeter wave. Millimeter wave is very short. Extremely low frequencies, they have uh, uh, 300 miles. And I actually calculated out uh, an approximate mileage of these frequencies, and they are approximately 300 miles. But as you can see, these bands right here are the bands that you see on IntelliCast. Everything manufactured, nothing real, all things artificial. And I could go through this entire storm, which is the weirdest storm I've ever seen. Um, kind of, well, not quite so defined uh, but it does become defined in certain areas this is not mother nature uh, this is man with the, the technology that man is using applying to create these uh, weather events this precipitation and I've never seen uh, weather hug the coast 
from Texas to, well, out into the Atlantic. Um, I also want to, the, the jet stream I am seeing that, that has such <laughs> remarkably weird, um, well, uh, directions. Um, okay, this I took yesterday. And look at the jet stream right here. You will see the jet stream. You will see these little uh, masses of precipitation going west. And you will see these masses of precipitation going east. Ah, I was recording it when I got a notification. And let's get off the notification, Carol. Right down here, it's going east and that's going west. And I'm sorry about this. I've got to play it through. And then I go to the article because I wanted to see it, so... I wish I could see. Okay, look at these. This jet stream. East. Oh Jesus! I slow it down. I'm sorry. Yeah, guys, I'm tired of having to edit out, you know, these perfect videos that I could never perfect. But east, west. Something very bizarre is happening here. But when you have man using the technologies, these frequencies, they can disrupt all of the natural processes and cause such chaos, and that's exactly what they are doing. It's exactly what they are doing. Uh, look at this up here. <laughs> They're stopping some um, weather. Oh, see? I waited too long. All right. Um, you can see all of the ultra-low frequencies in this just not too long ago. And it was pushing this weather front up north, pushing it off the coast. You did get some rain in Oregon. My God, guys. They're claiming San Antonio will have a tremendous amount of flooding from Hurricane Willa. Understand this. I can see the extremely low frequencies operating in virtually every weather event that is taking place. When I see the frequencies, as you can see right here, this very defined uh, strip of dryness here, and then it closes off, but you can see the straight bands these are extremely low frequencies and with extremely low frequencies with the high frequencies coming from the Doppler radar they can create cyclones, they can create flooding, they can create earthquakes and Canada got an earthquake and the extremely low frequencies being set off in Canada from the west to the east coast has been extraordinary. Um, but you can look at all of the right angled mass of precipitation. This is not Mother Nature. These are frequencies operating to bring in weather fronts or to bring in or, or to um, break up weather. But 
you will see this now virtually every time that you go onto these sites. Man is controlling the weather. 2 plus 2 equals 4. And I don't care how many people tell me it's wrong, Carol. 2 plus 2 equals 5. I will never say that. I will be tortured. A nor'easter coming your way. I can't believe what we are living. Now, did I wait too long? No. You can see. Okay. Do you see this suddenly appear? Okay. You saw that on IntelliCast. Uh... but you're not seeing it now. It was a wow. What you would see is half of the top half of this band of precipitation did not exist and then it very quickly existed. Like they brought on rain instantaneously. So I was not surprised to see these um, Harp Nexrad rings that the Nexrad, the Doppler radar sites, are active shooting off the high frequencies, coupling with uh, the extremely low frequencies, you got weather. That's not the only way that they can create weather, but it's one way. And I see these frequencies time and time again, so I'm going with that, but I'm not, I, I can't claim to be um, right. But you can see all of, look, look at these straight lined masses of precipitation. It's not natural. This is absolutely 100% manufactured artificial weather, artificial weather coming to you by man. Look at all of these frequencies still being set off in Houston. My God, my God, my God. And all of the intersecting um, next right palm trees. You can see them up here too. We're getting slammed guys. The unreality of what we are living, the abject absurdity of what we are living, is really beyond anything that I would have ever imagined. Now, could I have imagined that mainstream media would lie so outrageously? Absolutely. Could I imagine that our president and our Congress, uh, men and women and um, government officials and officials from the United Nations, world leaders, that they would be lying outrageously, Al Gore types would be lying outrageously. Absolutely, I could have imagined that. What I could not imagine was what we are living with our fellow Americans believing, believing the abject absurdity of what they are hearing. So what kind of destruction are we looking at with this uh, hmm, well, non-hurricane? They say it's a hurricane because they want you to believe it's a hurricane. But there is no hurricane there at all. Someone's going to tell me Radar doesn't go that far. Bull. Bull. Okay, so we've got this hurricane hitting Mexico three miles per hour. Wow. Three miles per hour. El Salido. Three miles per hour. You're all three miles per hour. 
Maybe IntelliCast is uh, not registering any of the wins. Well, we still don't have a hurricane on the coast right here. It should be more windy than 10 miles, 11 miles, 7, 9, 8. Go closer. You got 27, 38, 44. You still don't have a hurricane. 